Hey, welcome to Color Up. In this episode of Dice Advice, we're gonna take a look at a math teacher strategy. Math teacher, it's gotta be good, right? Well, no matter how you play or how smart you are, the house always has an advantage with every single bet. But with a little luck and minimizing the house edge, you could color up. Let's check it out. Today's strategy was submitted by David Mounts. Now he's a math teacher, as I mentioned, uh, playing out of Ohio and typically in Columbus where the limits are 15 to $25. Now we all know that the seven is the most likely number to roll. So that is how he likes to play. He tries to use the seven to his advantage and is an exclusive dark side player. He likes to call this strategy the dark side hedge. He'll start with a $15 don't pass bet and a $40 lay on both the four and 10. Let me go ahead and get my Lammers for this. All great bets. Now the come out rule is the only time that he has a disadvantage as far as the dice combinations go. He doesn't have to worry about a seven rolling because he has these lay bets, which would win with a seven. So he just has to look out for the yo. So he'll go ahead and make a dollar yo. Now the other number is a 12, which is a push on the don't pass. So he'll, he'll go ahead and cover that. Now it's debatable whether this is a good move, especially for a math teacher knowing that these are high house edge bets, but he just does it for one roll in the come out and you know it protects his $15 here for just $2. Let's run through a scenario of all the numbers. If a craps two or three rolls, that's a $15 winner on the line and you use, lose these two prop bets for a net gain of $13. Now if an 11 rolls, we're gonna lose our line bet and our 12 our 11 is gonna pay back our $15. So really we're just out $1. If the 12 rolls, it's bar the 12, which means it's a push on the line. So we'd lose our 11 bet, but we'd win $30 on our midnight bet. If the 12 ever does hit, he likes to go ahead and press it up to $25 and collect this nickel or this quarter and just see what happens with that five. You never know. If a seven does roll, we win $20 on our four, $20 on our 10. So $40 minus the VIG of $2, so $38. And then we lose our line bet. Again, a positive outcome. So really on the come out roll, the only thing we're really worried about is rolling the four and 10. We wanna avoid those. We would lose our $40. And then in his case, he likes to replace them. So we gotta avoid the four and 10 on the come out. Now, if any other number is the established point, what he'll do is lay against the number enough to win at least $25. If the four or 10 ever get knocked off, he just replaces them. And he's looking ultimately for the seven to roll. It is the most dice combination. So he's looking to win on the line and then win his lay bets. So it's a pretty sound strategy as far as house edge goes and having the seven work for you but it still just depends on how these darn dice roll, whether you can color up or not. So let's go ahead and take a look at this strategy with a live roll. All right, let's start with $15 on the line. We have a $500 bankroll here. It's probably not enough to run this strategy, but uh, that's what he takes to the casino, which is kind of a money management feature. If you only take $500, you can only lose $500, right? All right, so we're gonna lay the four and 10. We'll go ahead and get those marked. And a dollar yo, a dollar high, high, lo, high yo, midnight and 11. So we'll go ahead and give three change back to the player and get those marked for the come out roll. All right, here we go. And let her fly. And we got a three, a deuce, three craps. Our prop's gonna lose. And we'd get paid $15 on the line. So we'll just go ahead and replace those prop bets and rack that. Still looking for a point, here we go. And we got a six, six is our point, mark the six. All right, props are gonna come down. Remember he likes to lay enough to win 25. So in this case, oh, I was about to pull it from the bank. We're gonna go ahead and lay $30 to win $25 on the six. So now we're just banking on the most likely number to roll. Let's see if we can see it happen. There's the yo, yo 11. This stage of the game, we don't care. And we got an eight, eight easy. And four, four easy, down comes a lay, that's not good. So that's a hit, 40 bucks, and he just goes ahead and replaces it. He didn't mention how many times he replaces it. At some point, if they keep, keep hitting, you know, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Make a decision, I guess. Just like that, four, four easy. Down she comes. And 
And here we go. Five. We don't care about that. We're just looking for big red. There it is. Seven. Quick roll. So we're going to win 25 for our lay odds, 15 for our line bet. These are going to win $40. And we need a $2 in VIG. So I'm going to go ahead and take this nickel and pay out three to cover the VIG. And so those bets are still up. All right, let's see what we got here. Rack all this up. And we'll go ahead and get back down. $15 on the line. Get our bets hedged over here with the prop bets. And we got a new shooter. Coming out, here we go. And seven on the come out. So our props and our line bet comes down. But again, our $80 in lay is going to win $40, or with the VIG, I guess I have the VIG here. We can just, well, I'll keep it. I'm gonna take a nickel, pay out $3 there. So I'll just pay out $38. So we'll go ahead and go back on the line. We got some nickels to cover here. So a net profit there. Here we go, still looking for a point, and it's gonna be nine, nine's our point. Prop bets are going to come down. We're going to win at least $25, so let's bump it up to we need even. So let's make it, uh, we want to win 30. So in that case, we're going to bet or lay 45 to win 30 against the nine. And here we go. Silently rooting for big red. Five. No field five. We don't care about that. And six. Six the hard way. And midnight, this is part of the game. We don't care about that. Six, six easy. And six easy. Three, three craps. Nice thing about playing the dark side is you don't lose all your money at one time. Uh, your bets will get knocked off one at a time. So. That's one benefit of it. And if Big Red does show its head, then you win all your bets at once. There's the nine. So we got knocked off the nine. That's no good. So this is going to come down. Puck is off. Shooter hit his point. How many times do you want to bet against the shooter? Um, I don't know. That's up to you. But we're going to go ahead and continue strategy. $15 on the don't. A little hedge over here. So same shooter coming out. And we got a six, six easy, six is our new point. Down come the props. All right, here we go. Let's see how long he can continue this roll. And we got a nine, neither nine, we don't care. And eight, eight easy. And, ooh, four, four easy. Again, down comes our lay bet. How many times do you want to replace it? I don't know. For the video, we're just going to keep replacing them. Here we go. Nine, neener nine, center field nine. Six, six the hard way, point hit. Again, we got a hot shooter in the house. Uh, we actually forgot to lay our odds, so that actually worked out in our favor that time. Uh, we would have missed out if we rolled a seven, but shooter hit his point. We didn't get hurt too bad because we forgot the odds. Let's go ahead and get some change here. I'm going to drop 50 to the dealer. Uh, and we'll go 15 on the line, and we don't have enough singles, so I need some change for this nickel. And uh, let's see, I'll just send out five. You can cover the prop bets. And here we go, same hot shooter coming out. Seven, seven on the come out. Again, the props and our don't comes down. But we're gonna win $40 minus the big. So I'm gonna just go ahead and pay out 38 to our player. And uh, we'll go ahead and go back down for 15. 
rack one over here and cover our prop bets. All right, here we go. Where was that seven when we needed it? Five, five's our new point. Down comes the props. Again, we'll lay 45 to win 30 on the five. <clears throat> and here we go. Nine, center field nine. Eight, eight easy. And we got a four, four hard. 10 hasn't been an issue, but we've been knocking this four off quite a bit today. Uh, let's see. Give the dealer 50. Get 10 back. And we're going to lay 40 again. Here we go. Six, six the hard way. And eight, eight easy. There it is, seven, finally a winner. All right, so we're going to win 30 for our odds and 15 on the line. And then we're gonna win $38. So we'll win $40 minus the $2 VIG, so $38 is how I'm gonna pay that out for our lay four and 10. All right, so here we go. Rack up a couple green, stack of red. So you went back in a hurry. And then we've got, uh, we'll cut and cover bets again. Puck is off and we've got a new shooter. That was seven out. All right, new shooter coming out. Let's see what happens. Nine point is nine. All right, down come our prop bets. And we're gonna go ahead and lay 45 to win 30. Just a reminder, um, when you're laying against the number, these are gonna, it's just the opposite. So the six and eight is gonna pay five for every $6 bet. Uh, the five and nine are gonna pay two for every $3 bet. And four and 10 are gonna pay one for every $2 bet. So we have a $45 bet. That's three units of 15. $45 will win two units of 15 or $30. All right, here we go. Let's make it happen again. Another short roll would be great. No, of course not. Hard four. Four comes down. And we'll drop again, 40 to the dealer. Let's get it laid. It's gonna depend on what casino you're at, if they're gonna take the VIG up front or if they're gonna take it on the win only. The VIG is gonna be based off of the amount that you win. So in this case, a $40 bet wins $20, 5% of that, which is a normal VIG which is always the VIG, is going to be $1 for the $20 win. I'm not collecting the VIGs up front just to make it easy. Just when it wins. All right, six. Six easy. And we got 12. 12 midnight. Three. Three craps. A deuce. And we got a five. New field five. Just keep them dice moving, and there we go, winner for us, seven. All right, so we're gonna win $30 in odds, 15 for the line bet, and then again, $40 minus the big. I'm gonna pay out 38. Puck is gonna come off, and we'll go ahead and, well, we'll leave 15 here and rack the rest. Ah. And let's cover our bets over here. And we are set up and ready to go, seven out. So we got a new shooter, dump the bucket. Give us another couple tries. Yo, 11, 11 on the come out. So our 12 bet is gonna lose and our line bet's gonna lose. This 15, my layout's a little different, but I'm gonna pay out 15 2 one or 16 4 one, which is the most common, so. I'm gonna go ahead and pay that $15 right back. And then we're net out $1. So we gotta cover that 12 again. Only lost a dollar, not too bad. 
And we got a point of five. Five's our new point. Down come the props. And again, we'll lay 45 to win 30 against the five. And see what happens here. We're looking for the most common number to roll right now. The dice combinations are in our favor. There's, oh, we finally hit that 10. Down comes that 10. So down comes this 45 over here. Let's go ahead and cover it right back up. And keep rolling, here we go. Nine. And seven. Cinco, dos, adios, they say. All right, let's see. We're gonna win 30 for our odds, 15 in front. And again, I'm gonna pay out 38 for our lay bets. Puck is off. All right, rack a couple greens here. 15 on the line, we'll cover our prop bets and rack some red here. Um, I don't know if we're up or down. Seven out, we're gonna dump the bowl for a new shooter. And uh, here we go. We got a nine, nine's our point. Down come the props. And we're gonna lay 45 to win 30. And let's see if we can make it happen. Four, four easy, knocking the four off again. All right, let's cover that right back up. I think we, if we hadn't hit so many fours, we'd be doing okay, but you know, what are you gonna do? Like I said, it just depends on how the dice roll. There's the five. No strategy is foolproof. And seven, there it is. Thirty in odds, fifteen on the line, and thirty-eight. I may have been paying short the last few times and only paying thirty-three. I don't remember. Some of you probably caught that, but um, I don't know if I've been giving out two nickels. So, whatever. I got it right that time. All right, here we go. Rack some green, which is always nice. We'll cover our props. Puck was off. That was a seven out. And we'll give this one more try. Here we go, coming out. And we got a six, six easy. Six is our point. Down come the props. And we're gonna lay 30 to win 25 this time. Here we go. There we go, winner, quick winner. So we're gonna win 25 for the lay odds, 15 up front. And we'll go ahead and pay out this, the full $40 and pay our VIG because I'm gonna take these lay bets down just so we see where we stand. Because I'm done playing. Puck is off, these will get returned to you. See where we're at? I can't really tell, but on the numbers you see if we're up or down. I think the fours hit us a little bit, but I think we might be up, so we might be okay. So what do you think? That's the math teacher strategy, the dark side hedge. Obviously it's gonna work if you uh, throw short rolls and here on color up, that's kind of my specialty. So maybe it's a, a good bet, but I was rolling a couple numbers. I hit the point one, some fours. So the dice still have to cooperate, but there you go. Low house hedge bets, except for the hedges. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments and until next time, good luck on coloring up.